Hi friends, welcome back to Gold Digger FRVR. I'm very excited that we can be spending some time together today, and I'm hoping that in this video we'll make a decent amount of progress. As you may or may not know, our ultimate objective for right now is to try and get the amount of space that we have dug down over to 51 spaces, although for right now, we are gradually working our way back up and also clearing out some space in the meantime. I hope that you all are doing well. At this, By the time you see this video, some of my other videos will have been up for a little while, which is very exciting and also very nerve-wracking. These are some of the first real videos that I'm making in the time since I have started making videos again, and it's very cool to know that I am back to making videos and stuff, but at the same time, it's also very bizarre. For years, do making videos was one of my favorite hobbies, and now it, it was something that I have stopped doing for many, many years. Being back and being in this space and being able to do things like this again feels bizarre, but in a very good way. I'm ultimately hoping that for right now we can just have a good time together, we can build some memories, hopefully you all will feel comfortable talking to me in much the same way that I'm talking to you while I go on this rather zany adventure and work to collect things. Also, I am going to be collecting a chest in just a little bit that I actually forgot to open before. This is such a chill game and it's something that I can play while also being present in a conversation and just talking to y'all about my life, which is very nice. That's one of the things that I like the most about this particular game. I also enjoy the fact that it's something that I can actually feel confident in. I have gotten very deep, although I recently googled stuff and I was surprised to learn that as deep as I've gotten is actually not all that deep. Um, I have not yet seen some of the end game things, which I know because I decided to Google stuff earlier. And when I hit that point, I'm hoping that it will be on video and that we will be together. And also now I have enough of this that I can go ahead and collect some more certifications and level up some more. That's very cool. Uh, all of this means that it will be considerably easier for me to go ahead and start reaching into the further, deeper, scarier depths than I have been before, which is very exciting. I'm hoping to try and focus and have us hit that area that we need to hit. So let me just go ahead and start doing some stuff over here so that way we can dig a little deeper and yeah uh, I learned a lot of tips and tricks in between the time that I filmed the last video in this series and this one in fact I actually filmed those two videos almost sequentially and now uh, some time has passed so now I know better than I did before which is part of the reason I know the thing that I didn't know before about what the end of this game actually looks like, the bottom layer, and that is something that is very cool to know. It's something that allows me to be motivated, and hopefully it'll make it easier for me to go. Let me go ahead and check Wow, well, what's in this. It's going to take a little bit of time to unlock. Ooh, I almost had a bad time just now. I am glad that I noticed where I was and did not wreck myself, uh, that would have definitely been a little embarrassing. It would have been fine, we're a very nice community over here, but it definitely would have done a little bit of damage to my ego, so I'm glad that I did not have to get checked in that way. <laughs> but yeah, now we can just keep it going. We have reached a new maximum depth, and now let me see what I can do over here. Yeah, now we're going to have a nice big explosion, so that's exciting. Let's watch it all go kablooey. Um, I hope that all of you are having a wonderful time. I know that making videos, making videos is a very relaxing hobby for me. It's something that, at least when it's going well, does not stress me out. 
So, and that's something that is remarkable in and of itself because I get stressed out incredibly easily. So to know that I can do this without becoming enormously stressed out is something that I very much appreciate. Also, now we've gotten to see some more of the fossil types, uh, as you would learn later on if you were not being guided by a veteran of this game, I say sarcastically. Um, you can actually collect different fossils, and once you have enough fossils of the appropriate dinosaur, they will become one big fossil that you can sell, and that is something that is a handy way to make a lot of money. Now I just need to see about... Oh, hey, I completed the quest, so now we can go and we can turn it in. Oh, that's so exciting. Uh, I'm so happy that all of you are here with me and that we're getting to have this grand old time together. I very much enjoy doing things like this, and I would love to have just super casual, chill streams with my friends and my community. In the future, I'm hoping to talk to other people and to do live streams with friends and stuff like that. It's definitely interesting now that I'm armed with a lot more knowledge than I previously have had regarding both this game and also just my software in general. Let me see if she can give me another quest. Let's see. Okay, she's going to show me something fun. If I go down to negative 3, 124, she'll show me something special. All right. Oh, big clusters of rocks. Go and find a big cluster. All right, let's go. That's our next little quest. It has now been a tiny bit of time, but it hasn't yet been an enormous amount. I think we're going to I think we're going to keep it going for probably another 5 or so minutes. I don't know quite how long we're going to keep it going, but I know we're going to keep it going for a while. Uh I want to try and have fun with this and if possible, I want to try and make it a big explosion but I need to be careful because once I bring that one down I am going to be stuck because I cannot yet move more than one I need just a few more uh, upgrade metals before I can do the thing that I want to do which is move more than one of those big rocks at a time but that will come soon enough I just need to be patient, and I just... That was a little bit of a mistake, but not a big one. It's all right. We got it. So let's see where we're going next. Let's go ahead and try... We can go ahead and do that. Okay, that's all right. We can go ahead and do that. Oh, yeah. That is making it so... And now another explosion is going to be happening at the same time, and that's cool. Nice big couple of big explosions. I am thankfully keeping my distance. I do wonder when the first time I'm going to die in this game is. I I have a bad habit of being bad at swimming in this game. The number one thing that kills me, it's very rare for rocks to kill me. The number one thing that gets me tends to be uh tends to be swimming and drowning or doing the thing where once you've hit enough Oh wow, I'm getting stone I'm getting upgrade metals all over the place now. Let's go ahead. Oh yeah, that's one of the big ones. That is very exciting. I am very happy that we were able to do that. Um that upgrade line is also the thing that makes your axe hit harder, even your base pickaxe, which is something that I really like that is an invaluable skill to have. And now I am trying to see where else I can go. Let's go ahead and try to get a little bit deeper. I don't know if we're going to go quite as deep as she said in the amount of time that we have left in this particular video. Ooh, now we're going to get to have some fun with water. I love messing with water in this game. I know that water, I know that I was talking earlier about how water is commonly the thing that kills me. That is true, but I also have a lot of fun just watching water flow and seeing what happens. Darn, there is nothing. I was hoping that maybe there was something that I could have just sort of dug through and made all the water go away in one fell swoop, but unfortunately that is not the case. That said, 
I am still amped and I'm still very excited. So all we got to do is just patiently and diligently do our do our little worky work. And let's keep it going. Yeah, we're going to use our better pickaxe for some of this more expensive stuff. And by more expensive, I mean hardier stones. Because some of these stones later on have like a thousand health. They have truly absurd quantities of health. And you're going to need your bigger, beefier pickaxes in order to deal with them. Uh, although that is quite annoying at the same time but it's still it's just a part of being in the game and doing the stuff properly so it's gonna be all good so let's see we're gonna keep going over here we're gonna push this oh heck yeah we are gradually making our way through stuff i don't think that i'm quite fast enough but oh it looks like i just am heck yeah that is rad okay very cool uh, now, we do have an auto pickaxe. I am curious as to how it's going to feel using an auto pickaxe in this particular Let's Play, since there are going to be times when I film two videos back to back, and then there's going to be times when entire days pass between the filming of videos. But for right now, we are going to go ahead and stop, and I cannot wait to see you again, my friends.